So then I just got out of there as soon as I could. It was, it was a terrible scene. Okay, you ready for this? Let's do it. Hey everyone, I'm Alex. Thanks for clicking and welcome to this lesson on phrasal verb opposites. So today, with the help of my friend Steve the Spider, I am going to look at how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten phrasal verbs and their opposites for a total of 20 phrasal verbs. That is more phrasal verbs than Steve has legs. More phrasal verbs than Steve has legs, right? So, we'll start from the top. First, check in or check into. So you can check into a hotel when you first arrive. Say, I'm here to check in, okay? Now, when you check in, obviously, when you finish your stay at a hotel, you have to check out or check out of the hotel. So Steve, remember that time we drove down to the States, we went to Fun Spot, which is the biggest arcade in the world, we checked into the Holiday Inn on a Friday, and we checked out on a Sunday. It was a good time. I played Pac-Man Mania for like four hours straight. Next, we have get in. So to get in specifically into an enclosed space like a room or a car or get into, the opposite is get out or get out of a place or something. So in a car, for example, I got into the car. She got into the taxi. So you get in to a taxi or into a car and then to leave, you have to get out. Now, you can also be inside your house and you can tell someone, it's like, get in, get in, get in. Or if you're very angry at them, you can say, get out. Like that one time, remember that? You know what I'm talking about. All right, next, get on or get on to, get off or get off of. Now, this is specifically for public transportation. So you can get on or get onto a bus, a train, a plane, a boat. And then when you leave the bus, leave the train, leave the boat, leave the plane, you get off the plane, get off the boat, or get off of the bus or the subway or the metro. So you get on the metro, the trip is finished, get off the metro, okay? Um, depending on which part of the world you're from, you might say the metro or the subway. I say metro because I work around Montreal, but if you go to Toronto, most people say subway, so it depends where you're from. Next, go out and stay in. So this means to go out, means to go see a movie, go outside of your house on the weekend, and do something with your friends. So after this, Steve and I are gonna go out and have a little party somewhere. Don't know where, we haven't decided yet, but we got some friends waiting for us uh, outside and we'll, we'll decide after. Now, if you don't wanna go out and you prefer a quiet night in your house, in your room, like Steve listening to Pink Floyd in his bedroom while staring up at the ceiling, then you stay in. So your friends ask you, hey, do you wanna go out tonight? You say, no, nah, no, nah. Pink Floyd, I'm gonna stay in. I need to take in this music. Next, pick up and put down. So very literal, pick up, put down, pick up, put down. So you can pick up a glass, put down a glass, pick up a pencil, put down a pencil. And this is another meaning of pick up. So we have pick up and drop off. In this situation, pick up can mean to get something or someone from a specific location. So you can pick up someone from the daycare. If you are a parent and you have a young child, you can pick them up from the daycare at the end of the day. You get them. You can drop them off at the daycare in the morning, meaning you leave them there. 
For example, after work, if you're calling your friend, your mom, your roommate, your wife, your husband, and they say, hey, what time are you gonna be home? Oh, I'm gonna be a little late. First, I need to drop something off at the bank, maybe a bill you have to pay, and I need to pick up something from the grocery store. So maybe you are out of milk, you have no more milk, so you need to pick up some milk from the grocery store. And again, drop off, not just for people, not just for kids, it can be for things too. Both of them can be for things. So you can drop off money at someone's house or drop off a CD or drop off movie tickets somewhere. Put on, take off. So this is largely for clothes, right? So you can put on your socks, take off your socks, put on your jacket, take off your jacket. Now, Steve, after about one beer, likes to take off his clothes. I know he doesn't, he's not wearing clothes now. He looks good naked anyway. Spiders look good naked. That's a weird sentence, I'm sorry. Um, but we'll, we'll stop there. I don't want to continue that story. So, uh, slow down. The opposite of to slow down is to speed up, hurry up, go faster. So if you're driving and you know, you're driving with a friend, your friend might say, whoa, 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 slow down. You don't want the police to stop you. If you are late for something, your friend might say, speed up, okay? We need to go quicker. Stay up and turn in. This has a very specific context. So to stay up means to not go to sleep, but to stay awake at night. So for example, last night I stayed up until 1 a.m. playing Dungeons and Dragons with my friends. It's not true, but imagine. So we stayed up until two o'clock uh, watching old movies, old horror movies, for example. Now, if you don't want to stay up, don't want to stay awake, you can turn in. To turn in means to go to bed, go to sleep. So I stayed up until 11, which means I turned in at 11. I went to sleep at 11. And finally, turn up, turn down. Very specific context. If you have, you know, a stereo system, you can turn up the volume, make it louder, or turn down the volume, make it softer, quieter. Steve, turn that down! So, those are 20 phrasal verbs, 20. I know it's a lot. Again, more phrasal verbs than Steve has legs. So if you'd like to test your understanding of the material, I recommend that you watch this video more than once because there is a lot of information here. And then you can do the quiz to make sure you fully get it. And if you enjoyed the video, please like it, comment on it, subscribe to the channel, and check me out on Facebook and Twitter. And uh, if you want to support what we do here at Engvid and make sure that we do these videos forever and ever until the end of time, uh, you can always donate to the site at the link found somewhere here. Okay? Till next time, thanks for clicking. Let's get out of here, Steve. Steve!